Good morning. Important weather information here as we begin the six o'clock hour. I'm Adam Atchison and I'm Rebecca Hager. Let's start with school delays. What a fun event. What a privilege to be here. It's been such a great morning and you guys maybe didn't hear this, but I just heard some applause. That means another balloon just took off. We've gotten Facebook messages and even mm -hmm. calls this morning from people worried about family members that they haven't heard who, from. Yikes. Yeah, that may yeah. have been stuck. I mean, it's going on hours, nine, ten hours now. We want to get to something that just came into our newsroom. More than 6,700 customers are without power. So the grounding of the Boeing 737 MAX 8 planes is causing some issues as well. I know I got a call. My flight was canceled. Mm -hmm. So oh, no. I'm there with you. <laughs> <laughs> You've been watching this, I know, for 24 hours and it moved pretty fast. It's really cold out here, Jenna, but that's <laughs> perfect for a bunch of frozen turkeys and it's it's filling up here in the bucket. Yeah, take a look at all these turkeys that we've got so far. I will admit it's a little slow out here because of the weather. Let's get to a breakdown of what exactly this measure means. If you vote yes on CC, you're saying that the state should be allowed to keep excess tax money. Camera this morning as we Ooh. wow, look at that sunrise. Hope that made you look at your screen. That's beautiful. <laughs> I'm awake now. <laughs> yeah, sorry for yelling at you guys. You just heard from Sheriff Tony Spurlock wrapping up that news conference there in the Highlands Ranch area. A couple of interesting things. This has been going on for the better part of a half an hour now. So one of the suspects was taken down by the time that officers got into that. Deputies got into the building and they believe that was by, by a private security guard who apparently was armed and was in the building at the time. So we don't know which of those suspects was, was taken down by the time that uh, deputies got in there. But these heroic acts by officers and also by staff at the building were mentioned during the news conference. The sheriff said that people were actually helping to bring uh, victims out, uh, kids out as they were going classroom to classroom in the building, uh, deputies and staff members uh, as part of their search for those suspects in the building. I love what District Attorney George Brockler said today. Um, you know, we've talked a lot about school shootings here in Colorado, mm -hmm. and he said this does not define us. You know, this is going to be reported nationally. Everyone's going to hear about it, but it does not define our communities here in Colorado. As for the police work going on right now, they are still out there at that school. The school will be closed for the rest of the week, and there's a lot of things going on in their investigation. We are on the phone right now with Bobby. Bobby lives in the eastern part of El Paso County, and she told us earlier this morning when she called our newsroom that her husband has actually been stranded on the road for several hours now. You guys are sandwiched between 24 and 94 in eastern El Paso County, which is both of those roads are closed, so we, that gives us an idea of how bad it is out there. Bobby, you also mentioned to our producer about your camper being blown over. Holidays are notorious for leading a lot of us to overeat. I mean, I've been there, stretchy pants all the way, right? But the <laughs> CDC does have some tips. You don't do that? I feel like a lot of people do that. I don't have stretchy pants, but <laughs> <laughs> these are so collectible and you can put them in a book or whatever and, you know, have them for years to come. Yeah, part of the memory of yeah. everything. And it makes it more interactive, especially for the kids if they can go out, get a card from the pilot. It's something you can collect. It's almost like, you know, Pokemon cards back in the day. <laughs> but balloon it style. Really is. One of the biggest names in music has a new guitar on the market this morning. It's the first US made acoustic guitar. So now this one's for the more advanced player more finessed player. You know, I just feel a little more relaxed after hearing that short little clip of the guitar this morning. Great way to start the morning, especially after yesterday when we had so much chaos <laughs> when it came to the storm. We needed a little bit of that <laughs> soothing music. About two years ago, Robert Mueller started investigating Russian meddling in the 2016 election. Joining us live right now from Washington is expert analyst Greta Van Susteren. It's good to have you with us. There's nothing that is more stressful than spending a bunch of money on something you know nothing about, but sometimes that's what happens when you combine men, holiday shopping, and jewelry stores. Hmm. Money expert Stacey <laughs> Johnson is here to help with some tips to avoid jewelry shopping mistakes that some men often make. I just want to point out, Stacey might have been stereotyping a little bit. Some men do just fine in the jewelry store. Yeah. <laughs> Come but on, Stacy. <laughs> there's some advice anyway. The cool thing about this event, too, and I know we've talked about this before, is you can go right up to the pilots and talk with them. Yeah, and one of the things I love is how excited people get about every single launch. Every time a balloon goes up, people cheer, they mm. clap, the kids go crazy. I first told you about these plans back in the spring. Now workers are starting to tear up the pavement in front of the Olympic Museum. And dozens of FBI agents are coming forward anonymously in a new report saying critical investigations are now suffering because of the government shutdown. You were already talking about some of the gusts that, uh, that we're preparing for today. This could cause property damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I know we've talked about different snow totals and different areas, but wind across the board pretty much. We are so glad that you guys tuned in here for this special edition of 11 News uh, this morning to talk about the balloon event. We've gotten so much feedback in the last couple of years. People who are unable to make it, Mm -hmm. Really enjoy being able to see him on TV.